Hey everyone, welcome to Devolutions HQ. My name is Yen, I'm here again with Jenny. Hi everyone. And uh, we're just excited to do another episode. We're actually back in the studio now. It's been so long. I feel it's been so long. It has been very long. I am long. loving this. Yay, I'm talking to real people. Yeah, I'm used to seeing her through like my webcam, you know, yeah. so. Uh, but anyway, what uh, Jenny wrote a really interesting blog uh, several weeks ago. And I thought it was very pertinent to uh, us working from home mm -hmm. right now. And a lot of you probably have attended virtual meetings, right? Uh, that's all we've been doing for the last four months. Exactly. Yeah. And even the virtual conferences now. Yeah, we're, exactly. We're setting up for a bunch of conferences that all we're going to do. All our events went online. So we're jumping in that train and we're going to do a bunch of online events. Yeah. So that's going to be fun. And we're going to have, we'll have more news for you on the events that we'll yes. be in if you want to be participating. But anyway, so this blog was about uh, 10 ways to deal with virtual meeting fatigue yes and it's a real thing yeah I, when i first I, read the blog it's like <laughs> <laughs> that's not exist and i googled it and i was like oh wow it's a real thing but when you're yes. sitting at your computer in your basement or your children's room or wherever you have a computer you know <laughs> that you're doing uh your 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 meeting from whether it's visual or just audio uh man there's some things that we, we it's like a new paradigm that we have to kind of live with right it really is it's a new reality that I mean, I think it's gonna stay for a while, so we might as well get used to it, but get used to it in the proper way. Absolutely, absolutely. So I thought it'd be great for us to look at these 10 ways to uh, maybe deal with or uh, help with. Some, some of these are fun, some of these are just common sense, but I think uh, they'll all be things that'll help you guys. Control the virtual ITK. <laughs> right. Good one. So let's take a look at the first one. like you were just saying when you used to do meeting after meeting during one day at some point you just can't concentrate anymore it's too much information it's so don't schedule your virtual meeting back to back give you some time between them sure if you have an hour like just to take a break go outside breathe some air and come back yeah makes sense number two has to do with taking care of your body now yes. obviously um, you know, we don't realize this, but even at work, sometimes we get up, we go get uh, go to the get a coffee or walk around or, or do some you know things in between. If you're if you're smart, you kind of do these things. But the thing is, at home, a lot of times it's very easy to stay in front of your computer because that's where your uh, your Outlook and your emails and your Slack and your whatever yeah. software you're using, and you're just kind of stuck glued in front of the screen. And it can be right. a dangerous thing, right? Yeah. So it's good to take care of your body, meaning get up, do some stretches, move, uh, around. move around, maybe get, you maybe prop up your desk and work by, from standing yep. a little bit. But uh, my boss gave a great advice to, he encouraged us, he had like these daily emails he was sending out while we were working from home. And he said, just go outside, go in your backyard, go on the balcony, go on, True. go walk, just take a little walk for five minutes. And uh, it's amazing how some fresh air can really and sometimes oh, yeah. I'll even just, I'll, I'll bring my laptop and I will work from my balcony. Yeah. Just having, you know, a little breathe and the sun and it kind of like give a fresh outlook on stuff. You're just like, oh, okay, let's do this. Absolutely. It, Absolutely. it helps. Pause or mute all distractions. And by that, I don't mean pause your kids. By that, I mean uh, your email, your texts, your apps. If you're in a meeting and then you hear your phone going on, ding, ding. Yep. Uh, you, you're gonna want to look you want to know who's texting who's calling if you got you know slack that is like popping non-stop you you, you want to check what's going on and then your attention your focus is not on the meeting anymore sure. so pause all of those you know all of those distractions that you have absolutely all right so number four uh, one thing that we're really good at with technology is honestly yeah. like a lot of times we take notes like look I'm using my iPad uh, and we like to type but I know one thing's first of all I've noticed sometimes it's distracting when somebody's typing when you're doing a virtual meeting but they've actually shown studies that if you actually take a notepad an old-fashioned pen or pencil and just take notes uh, you're more alert and it's even it's more productive in your meeting because you're you're which is surprising because yeah. you would think that I type faster than I do write. Exactly. So. But I think I, I think it's sometimes wise because, you know, like I said, we're all ingrained in the technology. And sometimes it's having that pad of paper and like listening attentively and writing things down. Or even if you have to doodle, you know, some people have to concentrate. Uh, it's a little bit more creative and it seems like you stay more attentive to the, yeah. to the session going on. So... So number five, uh, virtual meeting fatigue will cause, you know, excessive eye strain. Mm. Like it's really, your eyes are just concentrating on your screen. Sure. 
all day long, yeah. nonstop. Uh, so it's really important to uh, now and then just take a look out of the window. Yeah. Take a look like at a distance, sure. not in front of your computer. So just take a look somewhere else. Take your eyes off of the screen. Yeah. That will help. You know when you're uh, watching, when you're in a virtual meeting, you always yeah. see the speaker who's the primary person, but then sometimes in the corner, if you're using yeah. Skype, you see yeah. the little, the mini you, the mm. mini me, right? Mm. And sometimes when you're staying at that little mini me, you're like, you know, I know. You're making sure, and then you're looking at yourself, trying to concentrate, but honestly, the best thing is you're supposed to be looking at the camera and focusing True. on the speaker, right? So her, her t uh, tip was to put like a little sticky note, yeah. right? And I uh, do with that. Your, with your passwords. No, 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 yeah, of course. don't do that. Uh, so you put a little <laughs> sticky note on your face mm -hmm. <laughs> so that it blocks out your face so you can focus the attention on the person. Yeah. Uh, so that way you can really focus and be attentive. So looking in the camera sometimes is hard, but um, you can really tell a difference, especially when you're doing a meeting and you see people, yeah. people are like, looking I off know. into the distance yeah. or they're like reading something yeah. and you're like you're talking to them you're like excuse me i'm there i'm talking right now yeah, or you exactly. can see they're just looking at another like you yeah, know they're doing they're, something else yeah. you know um and so you got to still be attentive because by the way if you're in a regular meeting uh it wouldn't fly as well normally no. you know you have to you know maintain eye contact or at least look at the person talking to you is, at least, is you good. know but that sticky note is that's a good idea it's that's a really good, good idea. idea i like it okay <laughs> Next one, uh, make your home office as comfortable as possible. I mean, this is where you work, this is where you spend your day, this is where you do all your meetings. Uh, you don't wanna be like, you know, twisting and not comfortable on your chair and you're trying to, you know, watch the meeting, participate in the meeting and you're just like trying to, ugh, not comfortable. Your Absolutely. back's in pain. You have to be comfortable, smooth environment, comfortable environment. It will help you to get through all of those virtual meetings. Sure, that's why I'm always in my like massage chair while I'm doing virtual. No, I'm uh -huh. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but it, it makes sense. Having a good quality chair, yeah, and it is yeah. actually a worthy investment because you gotta, you, you want to make sure you take care of your body, but also exactly, it'll be less fatiguing, right? So, number eight. All right, number eight. <laughs> Stay hydrated. <sighs> it's fresh. but uh, And it's water, it's not, you know. Yeah, it's nothing, it's it's nothing else right, right now. Okay, but uh, staying hydrated is, is big. Now, listen, I'm a big coffee drinker and I like mm -hmm. coffee, but. This, my friends, is the world's largest coffee cup. It fits 20 cups of coffee. The cup holds over five liters of water, over 1.3 gallons of water. The idea is staying hydrated is important because obviously you're in front of your computer, but your body is still consuming and doing things. Um, and staying hydrated is, is good, especially helping your mouth not to be dry, right? Exactly. But it's good for your body and staying hydrated will keep you focused and things. Your body needs a lot of water even when you're just sitting there, right? Yeah. So staying hydrated is super important. So find a good beverage or something like water, especially uh, to stay hydrated during your meal. So. Always a good trick. So you know how you have like all these apps right now and everything. I think with Zoom, you can do it a lot too, that you can change your background. Yeah, oh, at some point yeah, I was yeah, talking yeah. with someone on Zoom and they had like, uh, you know, palm trees in the oh, back yeah, yeah. with the beach and you're like, sure. what is going on? Uh, don't use them. <laughs> I mean, you know, keep them for your happy hours moment, you know, with, with your girlfriends, with yeah, your yeah. friends, and then change the background and it's fun, it's good. But during a meeting, it, it really like, it, it no, doesn't help your concentration. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, you, you're trying to concentrate what the, the person is saying you're trying to take notes and trying to hear everything but then you just see like that background sure and it's like, like you don't want to be distracting be during the meeting right? bit so anyway. but, um yeah. so don't use them uh for virtual conference meeting use them for your friends sure absolutely yeah I and mean, sometimes there are some that work but it actually can be much more of a distraction than anything exactly. else and uh so it is kind of cool to pretend that you're on a beach but uh it's better to get a Palm Number 10. Now, don't forget that with all the technology out there, there is something called a telephone. And a telephone? <laughs> or a cell phone, if you want to. What but, is uh, that? <laughs> so you can have meetings on the phone That's and true. just call we, people. We kind of forget that. And I mean, uh, now I know it's nice to see somebody's face. Don't, don't hesitate to call somebody yeah. and just have a conversation That's with true. them instead yes. of it may be better than just a text message, right? 
or like an instant message. Uh, just pick up the phone and call people. And especially during this time, I think it's a great opportunity for us to communicate with people. But obviously, uh, in some meetings, you can you can dial in by phone if it's maybe too distracting to have your camera and everything yeah. set up. Um, that that's always a great uh, alternative as well. All right, so those were our top 10 uh, yes. ways to deal with virtual meeting fatigue. Mm -hmm. right, so thanks, Jen, for that article. I'll make sure I put the yeah. links in the show note. Now, if some of you guys were looking for different uh, virtual meeting uh, tools. We actually did a video yes. on some different solutions. We tried a couple of them. Yeah, it we was tried a bunch quite of them. It, fun, it was actually a fun yeah. one. Uh, now I know there's even more technology since already since we did that video. It's been moving nonstop. But I'll, I'll go ahead and put the links in the in the show notes Great as idea. well. Exactly. So uh, take these tips at hand at heart and uh, put your comments below of any extra tips that maybe you've put into place that have helped. Hope you guys stay safe. Yes, stay safe out there. And have a great rest of this week. And we'll have some more videos coming up for you to help you guys during these times. Thank for you so sure. much. All right. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye.